Did you know that drinks can increase blood pressure faster than food? Food needs to be broken down in your digestive system, but drinks are quickly absorbed, impacting your liver, kidneys, and brain. They're a major trigger for long-term hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, partially due to the fact that drink choices tend to be habitual, but also because some of the drinks we're told are healthy can actually have adverse effects, especially if you're at risk for hypertension or heart problems. So today, we're going to look at seven of the worst drinks for high blood pressure, as well as better alternatives, and a few tips to enjoy your favorites while staying out of the danger zone. Stick around until the end, because we've got two free gifts that will help you fight heart disease naturally. And remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Our first is an antioxidant-rich tea that does have health benefits, but causes chaos for some people. Licorice tea. With its unique flavor and anti-inflammatory glycerizin compounds, licorice tea is a tempting choice, but it can have strange and unexpected effects. Unlike the drinks we'll discuss later, there isn't a huge amount of research on licorice tea, and some people may be more affected than others. However, medical case studies shed light on what can go wrong. Licorice-induced pseudo-hyperaldosteronism is a rare condition where licorice can lead to hypertensive emergency. It causes sodium retention, low potassium, and metabolic alkalosis, where the body's pH becomes too high. In one case, a patient was rushed to hospital with extremely high blood pressure, chest pains, headache, and sensitivity to light. It turns out he had been consuming two glasses of licorice tea each day for the previous two weeks. Fortunately, after 13 days in hospital, his blood pressure normalized, other symptoms cleared up, and he went home in good health. Another case is a healthy 50-year-old who exercised ate organic, and all the rest. In a routine checkup, her doctor found she had dangerously high blood pressure. This happened six months after giving up coffee, more on that soon, and switching to herbal teas. Medication didn't help, but she eventually stumbled upon information about licorice. And wouldn't you know, when she cut out the licorice tea, her blood pressure normalized within a week. So be cautious with licorice tea. It's rich in antioxidants, great for soothing digestive issues, sore throats, and menopausal systems. But it can trigger blood pressure problems for certain people, especially in excess. Just like licorice tea, people often think they're doing the right thing with our next drinks. Fruit juice and smoothies. When you gulp down a glass of juice or a smoothie, your system gets a big sugar rush. This sudden sugar overload leads to a process called glycation, where glucose in your blood binds to proteins, damaging their structure. This causes gradual damage to your arteries, causing inflammation, reduced flexibility, triggering plaque buildup, and increasing blood pressure. Fiber in whole fruits slows the absorption of sugars. But when you juice or blend it, the sugar is absorbed immediately, spiking blood glucose and causing glycation. Now, let's be clear. Homemade juices and smoothies are one thing, and they're much better than some of the drinks we'll discuss next. At least with these, you're only getting the natural sugars, vitamins, and minerals. And you can see just how many oranges go into a single glass of juice. Spoiler alert! It's four oranges per glass. Seeing this, you might even decide to mix in a little water and lemon juice to reduce the impact. Or if you're making your own smoothies, you might add a handful of spinach, avocado, or olive oil, dampening the blood sugar spike. On the other hand, if you buy juices or smoothies pre-made, then everything intensifies. Extra sugar is often added. And these drinks are generally highly processed, heated to kill bacteria, with chemical preservatives to make them last a few more days. 
Marketing campaigns portray juice and smoothies as healthy, but caution is advised. One final note, many people drink these for breakfast, but that's the worst time to have them. For more on that, you might like to watch our video on the worst and best breakfasts for heart health. We'll leave a link to that in the description. Next, have you ever noticed how some people can guzzle two lattes and then take a nap? while others get jittery from a single sip? Coffee and blood pressure have a complicated relationship. Caffeine prompts the heart to beat faster, and it tells blood vessels to tighten up, a duo that increases blood pressure. A meta-analysis of 34 studies found that 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine, about two cups of coffee, can cause a spike in blood pressure that lasts up to three hours. But here's where things get interesting. Regular consumers may develop tolerance over time, reducing these effects. So, regular caffeine drinkers might experience less significant increases in blood pressure compared to the occasional drinkers. Then there's the genetic angle. Some of us are naturally more sensitive to caffeine due to our genetic makeup, which influences how quickly the body breaks it down. Plus, caffeine might hit you harder if you're stressed, not sleeping well, or have vitamin deficiencies. On the other hand, coffee is rich in polyphenol compounds to protect artery linings, which can effectively reduce hypertension. So, unfortunately, there's no blanket recommendation here. It's essential to listen to your body, look at your whole health picture, including any medications that interact with caffeine, and chat with a healthcare professional if you're unsure. Next, we have a slightly controversial topic. But bear with us, because we're not saying that all salt is bad. But the high salt drinks that many people consume without realizing can cause trouble. Salt is an essential mineral. It regulates fluid balance, supports nerve function, and helps muscles contract effectively. However, Balance is key. Many adults today are consuming far more than necessary, and excessive salt is linked to hypertension. So, how much is too much? Experts recommend no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day, which equates to about one teaspoon of table salt. Surprisingly, the big problem isn't the salt shaker on your table but the hidden salt in processed foods and drinks. Take tomato juice, for instance. While it can be a healthy choice, many commercial versions are laden with salt. Yet studies show that low-sodium tomato juice may actually reduce high blood pressure. It's a classic example of having a healthy food gone bad, thanks to heavy processing. Similarly, canned broths and soups are often extremely high in sodium. The key is to read labels and go for low-sodium versions when available. Before we get to the worst three, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease, something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. And could you do us a favor and click the subscribe button below? Okay, let's get back to the video. At number three, soda is one of the very worst drinks for blood pressure. Drinking soda contributes to various health problems due to sugar overload, as well as other harmful substances, leading to increased risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, obesity, tooth decay, weak bones, and increased risk of certain cancers. If you drink diet versions, are you off the hook? Unfortunately, no. A 2016 study by the University of Rio de Janeiro investigated the soda habits of over 500 school students and found that diet soda drinkers have even worse blood pressure than those who drank normal soda. Another study highlighted that regular diet soda drinkers had a whopping 67% increase in type 2 diabetes risk. Worse yet, the artificial sweeteners used in diet sodas 
like aspartame or saccharin, may harm the bacteria in your gut, interfering with your body's ability to manage blood glucose, as well as digestion and immunity. Instead of soda, try lemon squeezed into sparkling water, pomegranate juice, or cranberry juice. Hold on a second, you said juice is bad. While that's generally true, research shows that both pomegranate and cranberry juice can improve blood pressure due to their extremely high polyphenol content. Just make sure it doesn't have any added sugar. Go for freshly squeezed if you can, and eat healthy protein or fat beforehand to dull the blood sugar spike. And our number two worst drink is alcohol. Excess alcohol is directly linked to hypertension, cardiomyopathy, and irregular heartbeats. Some studies suggest that red wine might help prevent artery disease due to its polyphenol content, potentially improving blood pressure. However, moderation is key. The benefit is associated with around one small glass of red wine at night, a few nights a week. Health guidelines recommend no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. As you may know, the liver is heavily affected by alcohol, and if you have high blood pressure or other heart issues, you have a significantly higher risk of liver damage. It's a vital organ, and limiting alcohol is one of the best ways to protect it. Fatty liver is a major problem that sneaks up on people, so you might like to watch our other video on the worst foods that cause fatty liver, which also covers the best liver healing foods. We'll leave a link to that in the description. And at number one, we have energy drinks. These drinks can be considered poison, loaded with sugar, caffeine, and other stimulants like synthetic taurine, guarana, and synephrine. This mix rapidly increases blood pressure, can hyperstimulate the heart, increases anxiety, and more. Even worse, they're often combined with alcohol, putting enormous stress on the liver and sending conflicting signals to the brain. The problem is so serious that in 2010, the US FDA took action against pre-mixed alcohol energy drinks being sold. However, that doesn't stop people from underestimating the danger and mixing their own. But whether it's with or without alcohol, the message is that energy drinks are very bad news for your blood pressure, heart, and brain. Click the like and subscribe buttons to see more on these topics. And if you found this video useful, you'll love our video on the 13 best drinks for heart disease.